my SPA Delhi interview experience. As in my previous video, I have mentioned I gave GATE twice, once in 2018 and once in 2019. Similarly, I appeared for SPA interview twice, once in 2018 for environmental planning and once in 2019 for BEM, Building Engineering and Management. And in this video, I'm going to share my experience, the questions that were asked and everything about the interview. So those who are new to my channel, let me introduce myself. I am Parul Sharma. I am an architect. I did my master's from IIT Kharagpur in infrastructure design and management. And I secured All India Rank 28 in GATE 2019. And I secured All India Rank 1048 in GATE 2018. Here, I would like to start with my experience of 2018, the year that I failed. In 2018, I appeared in environmental planning because that time, while I was in college, uh, I was more inclined towards sustainable architecture and uh, everything related to environment or sustainability and that sort of things. So uh, first of all, for the interview, I just took my portfolio with myself. Now, as a student of fifth year, what can you expect in that portfolio, right? So in my portfolio, I just kept the conceptual sketches and the final drawings and the concept, what my concept of thesis was. So I kept it there in uh, the portfolio. And also I have added like one or two designs from my internship and what I did there, that's it. I just added that in the portfolio. So that year in 2018, there were like so many students and uh, every year for SPA interview, there are like so many students, thousands of students appear for SPA interviews. And you know, back then I, I didn't even know what is the criteria of uh, SPA that they take admission from. Now they have given this co complete criteria, how they are giving the marks and, uh, and it's a good thing that they have clarified on what basis you will be marked. But back in 2018-19, this criteria was not very clear, like how they are giving marks. While I entered there for uh, my interview, so three professors were there who took my interview. I clearly remember it. And that interview went just for like four to five minutes. And in those four to five minutes, you won't believe in those four to five minutes, I knew my result. I knew I'm not going to get selected. I don't know what happened, but the vibe, the whole vibe that was there, the, that gave me my result in itself. So they asked me questions about my concept and about the thesis. And you know, while I was giving answers, there was no expression on the professor's face. So that fear ran through my nerves and I was also not confident while giving the answers. I, I don't know what kind of experience was that. Within just within four to five minutes, I was like, I know that. But that was a wonderful experience, I would say. I, I knew that I'm not going to select here. So 2018 was clearly not my year of success. That was my year of learning. And 2019, I believe that was my year of success. I got the result in 2019. I, my result was, I knew my rank is 28. I was already confident. While I reached there for the interview, it was like full day program. I reached there like uh, nine in the morning and uh, I left the college like eight, 8 p.m. in the evening. So it was like full day thing that was going on in BEM. So next year, you know, uh, while I was preparing for GATE, uh, my interest kind of changed. Your interest changes over time, right? And I found myself more of a technical person. I chose to give interview for a BEM course and I, I found myself more inclined towards that, that time. So over that span of one year, over that span of uh, 2018 to 19, plus I got like good rank also. So my confidence level was also on a different level. And I was confident, to be honest, I was confident enough because I had this clarity in my mind, like if not SPA, I'm going to get selected anywhere, be it IIT or any college I want. But I just went there because of my experience of 2018. As there is one saying, na, go to those places again and smile where you cried once, something like that. And for me, it was like, uh, go back to that place where you failed once and you know, change it into your success. So. Uh, yeah, I went there and I was like confident and I was like, Dekha jayega jo hoga. I had this attitude in my mind. So, you know, first of all, what happened was uh, we had this document. So our documents were being checked 
and then we had like multiple exams and multiple interviews uh, like first exam was there uh, in which you know that was i i don't remember clearly but that was one hour or two hour exam uh, in which mcqs were asked and those questions were generally from gate previous year questions and uh, then there was one another test uh, that test was vat uh, that is written ability test and i clearly remember my question so my question was uh, should gambling be legalized or not uh, so similarly or everyone uh, you know everyone was given different uh, questions and those uh, those papers or whatever we have written those were checked that time only and uh, we got the result we got the marks of it like there then and there only uh, within a span of uh, one of uh, one hour or something we got the result so two things were this two tests were this one was mcq and one was this uh, vat written ability test and then there were two interviews first interview was taken by three professors including hod and uh, the top professors so that was like very interesting conversation we had during this uh, interview and one question i remember uh, he asked me so you got this brilliant rank and i don't think you will uh, take admission here in spa and i think you will join iit only now see while you are sitting in that interview be that interview for any office or organization or institute or anything you need to make them realize no i will join here only that's what you, that's what we do in uh, interviews right to be honest that's what we do and that's what you need to do while you are in interview and to get selected so i gave them a valid reason of uh, why i want to be there in spa and why spa is best suited for me so they asked me about my thesis and what was my concept of thesis and uh, general here and there architecture related uh, talks we had for like 10 minutes something and then there was interview number 2 where the discussion were on portfolio uh, so in my portfolio in 2019 i added the same things like my thesis concept and the final drawing and designs and two or three designs from my internship that's it uh, kind of similar portfolio that i took in 2018 uh, that was like kind of similar but you know i believe in this that luck plays a strong role for my second interview the questions were same on the portfolio like in 2018 and my replies were also kind of same but i got selected at that time i felt like i don't know the criteria of spa how they select students and uh, seriously but now it's very good that they have clarified and they uh, this transparency is there ki okay these are the parameters on which we are going to select students and it's amazing but earlier i used to think they give more preference to working professionals but it's not like that this they, they just want to see your drive they just want to see whether uh, you have the required knowledge plus they want to see whether you are actually interested in the course that you are selecting and why are you best suited for spa because spa is a prestigious college and i feel that is the best place for architect so while you are going for your spa interview read your sop very carefully while writing sop we write anything and everything but feel it emotionally why you want to be in spa and why you are a good fit for spa these are the two question that you need to be very clear in your mind why you are appearing for it okay and then the next thing is be very confident about your work about what are what have you done so far and which ever course you are choosing why exactly you want to do that so you should have your reason very clear why i am doing this why i am doing environmental planning why i am doing urban plan your answers need to be very clear about it right and be very clear about the most important question that is tell me about yourself so this tell me about yourself write four page on tell me about yourself so that you will at least remember five good lines from that i had also prepared these particular few questions while i went for my gate 2019 interview back in 2018 i i didn't know anything which what question are they going to ask because that was my first interview in my life and that went so bad that's why i'm telling you prepare few questions like tell me about yourself what was your concept in thesis if you are working professional you should be clear about your job role what job you are doing and how the job that you are doing is aligned to the course that you are choosing okay and one most important thing that you can do is for whatever course you have applied to just take out the syllabus of that course and see the see the subjects that they are covering okay and 
try to add those words in your interview for example why this particular course so you can add like two three keywords there so they will be like okay this person has studied about the department this person has studied about the course the syllabus this will show your interest okay so with this i wish you all the very best and i am always there to help you so if you have any question any doubt you can ask me anywhere on instagram whatsapp here on comments anywhere you can also join in our whatsapp group and telegram group and one most important information we are going to conduct an online webinar on 14th may 2023 in which we are going to explain everything on how to kick start your gate 2024 preparation we are going to answer why to prepare for gate when to start the preparation what to study and how to study so you will get all your answers so register through the link given in the description below and this is an invite only webinar so we will send you the invite based on the information that you register so if you are curious and serious for gate 2024 click on the link below and we will see you in the webinar till then take care all the best and keep learning and keep growing thank you so much